Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect PostgreSQL SQL database in Visual Studio 2019. So, and here I am using Visual Studio 2019. So, and here uh, for connecting PostgreSQL with uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. So, first we need to create and here ODBC connection. So, with the help of ODBC connection, we can easily connect. So and here let's uh, write control panel and here after system security and here go to administrative tool and here select ODBC database source and here click on add so and here you can find dev ODBC driver so this driver that I am using so if you like to know how to download and install so in Google write ODBC drive for post key. Here you can find devart.com. So and here this is 32 and 64 bit operating system. So available for Mac, Linux and Windows. And if you click this link here you can find this is ODBC drive for click download button. This is available for 13 days. So with the help of this drive going to create the ODBC connection. Now here select this option. So if you download and install automatically this option it will come. Now select this here after click on finish. And here give the data source JSON name. So it must be some meaningful name. So giving add here post key and here ps. ps that indicate for Visual Studio. If you want then give the description here server name that is localhost. And hereafter no need to change port automatically detected hereafter user ID. So this is the PC admin. So at the time of installation of post key here you can here you have given the username and the password. Okay, so this is the username I have given post key and the password the you have given the same password you should give. So let's uh, give the username that is uh, post case and here give the password. And here after these two are optional. Click on test connection. connection successful. Click on OK. So post key PS created. Now here after minimize this one and here go to Visual Studio. Now here after tools here connect to database. And here click on change. Here you can find different options. So and here you should select Microsoft ODBC data source. Okay. If you want then here you can select other options. So here other option you can also find ODBC. So better you select ODBC data source. Now here after click on OK. And here after oh, Microsoft ODBC data source ODBC comes. Here after just click on here you can find ODBC. And here post key BS that I just created select this. And here after you need to give the username and password. So username for or oh, post key at the time of installation you have given the username post key and here give the password okay so let's go to visual studio giving the username post case and here give the password and when that done click on test connection successful now here after click on okay now here after on oh, this is tools and here let's uh, go to server explorer here you can see ODBC local hosts it's uh, automatically it's come there now here after if I click drop down here you can check so all the tables inside and here post key come inside and here on visual studio so here you can see if you want to see the tables contents here you can see this is public and here go to tables so this is the public table inside there and here after the next is here you can see this EMPA table it's now inside Visual Studio. If you double click so here this is the columns inside there right click here retrieve data. So I just click on the retrieve data now here it will retrieve the data so this is the data inside there. Now here after the next is here you can uh, see 
this is so uh, how you can do uh, new query and here after if or uh, is there any views are present procedure present it must be come at this place so this is the simplest way we can connect post query with the visual studio 2019 so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you